what is going on X community this is exostomp here and joining me today is gonna be galaxy bomb hello everyone we're here to do the power rankings for week number six the second to last week which is gonna be fun and then playoffs but we'll go over those um starting off of course uh seattle jose stun fetched uh they got the buy this week uh, so they got a free win um i really hope that they get a win like an actual win before the season's over so they really just have one more week to do it um i really think they they still have a good team like i just they haven't been implementing a lot of like i haven't seen a lot of celestila do too much work um i've seen a lot of stun fisk but it hasn't been doing much besides setting up like rocks maybe maybe t wave or something but yeah um i really like the team i hope they do work in this next week uh you have anything else to say yeah i think i think their main weakness is that they're they have strong mons but then their um their support mons to those like say stun fisk for rocks are kind of weak just in terms of of the scale of other setup mons so um they have strong um, composition, but they kind of fall apart when they're up against the counters to them. No, yeah, yeah you're hundred percent right. Um, they have one rocker. Um, if they change like their tier four, which is Chrysala, which they use once and it, it just died. It, I haven't honestly, Chrysala is not too good. If they switch that out for a rocker, um, the team will be looking a lot better. Honestly, because it's hard to bring a Stunfisk in versus a lot of Pokemon because it's slow and it it's I bulky, think but great either. It, yeah, it's pretty weak to a lot of things. I mean, Steel is nice, but for a, a Rock Setter to be Steel type, it can generally get hit by a lot of the a lot of the Mons that you want to use Rocks against are going to kill it, like Fire type. Right? Yeah, yeah. So. uh you have one more week i mean technically you basically are stuck with this team um so hopefully you guys can do some work with it hopefully win uh we are cheering for you on fisk are against northeast noivers okay uh bring you have to bring rocks versus all those flying types and stuff so good luck guys <laughs> uh, and for our sixth spot it's gonna be us um Man, our game was very hard. Yeah. Um, yeah. Our um, the last couple of weeks we had a good start um, in the season, but the last couple of weeks we've been against brute. Like you guys have really good teams. Yes. And they're really hard to break through. Um, luckily, we we never got like super decimated by anyone. Like it was always at least three kills on most things. Um, but uh, they've got some good compositions out there. Yeah, uh, and honestly, guys, uh, if you want to see more, I will put a link in the description as well as um, in this timestamp. But yeah, it looks like everyone is enjoying tag teams. Uh, people are inviting people, which I love to see. And guys, definitely keep that up. I'll, I will do more tag teams if everyone wants it, honestly. I mean, this has been fun. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, it's actually, it's been interesting to have everyone work with someone else. One, it helps a lot with scheduling, because even if both people can't make it, at least one person can, and maybe they can do the battle, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but also just, just the kind of teamwork and seeing different play styles kind of merge together uh, has, been, has been pretty fun. So. Yeah, like you see Al, which is the stall god, and then North Stream, which is... He likes offense. Look at their team. They have a lot of offense and a lot of stall. It's just mixed. And it's been working out. So I, I love to see that. That's awesome. But anyways, uh, going on to the fifth place, we have... Bam! 11th pick. Who are we reversing? <laughs> they brought some fire. Okay? They brought... Togekiss, which we thought was Scarf, which wasn't Scarf. Great bluff. Um, their Bisharp destroyed us. The the Rabambi's Sticky Web definitely that, was a great that play. That won them the game for sure. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, on this. For... Yeah, honestly, again, guys, if you want to watch it, the timestamp will be like a minute back. But yeah, that game was awesome. Um, they still have a chance of being in the playoffs. Uh, the last yeah, let me pick our against Overdrive this week. So... Ooh, that's gonna be that's a fun game to watch. Um, yeah, definitely the last. The last five teams that we're going to go over, are they have a chance to stay in. I believe the last two or three are sort of guaranteed. But the last spot, a lot of people are fighting over, which is cool. Uh, for the next, which is going to be fourth, we have Northeast Norverns. Um, four and two with the four differential. Really nice. Um, they can be taken over by 11th pick, so got to watch out for that. But... Ooh. Um, the weather, the weather mashups has been working pretty well for them. I mean, it's it's definitely it looks. I'm I'm not gonna lie, it looks like a mess, but it actually works decently. Being able to, to to bring more than one option so that if your weather setter goes down, you have something in your back pocket. Um, plus, if they bring their own weather condition, you can kind of use whatever uh, variable like you have like we had nine tails and they were able to adjust accordingly so yeah it, it works decently the, the thing is um they did get a forfeit win um which i would have loved to watch stall versus quad weather i know that sounds weird to say but um i think it would have been pretty interesting seeing a bunch of weather going up and and seeing stall trying to stop it i i don't know I think that's just me, but I really wanted to watch it. Um, yeah, it's a sadly, shame, but though. that's how it goes. Yep. And for the third spot, we have, bam, the Overdrive DS team, which is Dinosaur and Shadow. Ooh. Um, their game was pretty tough. They were versing Ops to Gotham, which actually knocked, knocked them, what? They were in second or first, and now they're in third, which is pretty weird. Or pretty scary yeah they 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 were on at the top and uh their last couple uh matchups have been a little scary i mean uh who did they lose against I'm trying to see i think it was the last couple that they lost it was uh yeah it was the last yes. two that they that they lost so mm -hmm. um hopefully they're able to cinch it but uh, it's a little yeah. scary for them. I mean, if they if they take a big hit in the next game, I mean, who knows what could happen to their position. They did make some swaps. The Dusclops for the Double, as well as the Cobalion for the Klefki. Uh, they probably were thinking they might want screens with Klefki um, and Double. I, I don't know. Maybe they just didn't want to use Dusclops. Who knows? Um, but yeah. This match versus 11th pick, you said they're versing? Uh, this time around, Overdrive is versing the one, the only 11th pick, yes. Yeah, that's going to be pretty interesting. Seeing Latios, Mega Latios versus uh, Charizard is going to be pretty fun to watch. Um, but yeah, they, they still have a chance of actually getting knocked out. If they get like 6 0'd, they better watch out. It could happen. It could, definitely could. For our second place, we have Weird Time Zone Gang, which was the forfeit loss. Um, they just, their name, Weird Time Zone Gang, they have weird time zones. Al was busy, and then North Stream was busy, and by the time they both were there, it was like 3 a.m. for, uh, for uh, Northeast Northern. So it was tough to actually schedule the game I, we waited a week and a half. We we tried to wait, but at this point in time... Kinda, I think it kind of goes to show the strength of their team, though, that they could take a 6-0 forfeit and still be in second place. Well, it's 3-0. 3-0, sorry, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then their, well, their real loss was to us. So, honestly, we'll take that, okay? Yeah, we're happy. <laughs> oh. Anyways... For our next and our final, we got first place, Team of Sagotum. Okay, with an 11 differential, they only lost once, which I 
think that was yeah week three. I don't remember yeah, they, who that was. They started off a uh, week three. They were against um, uh, Northeast Northerns and they lost. Okay. Um, but uh, they started off pretty um, kind of neutral. Average. Like, like they were, they were kind of a sleeper hit coming coming out on top. They got a three a week one. Uh, they got um, a bye week two. So we didn't see too much. Then they got the lost week three. And after that, they just they just came back. 4-0, 3-0, 4-0. Like, <laughs> yeah. And it's they great. Just, they just worked their way to the top. Yeah, honestly, uh, props to you guys, Berger and Justin. I know you guys, uh, I think Berger is more of the, the battler and Justin, you're more of the builder, I think you guys said. Or or maybe it's vice versa. But either way, guys, um, Coco Lutra is extremely good, especially in... Um, the, of course, National Dex meta, where Holucha now gets close combat, so you don't need to risk high jump kick, which... Ooh. Um, GPL Season 1, I missed a lot of high jump kicks. I ran Tapu Koko Holucha, but... Ooh, close combat is great on Holucha. Um, still no Dawn fan. You guys promised me Dawn fan, so if I don't see it for this next week, yeah, I'm gonna be very mad. Really funny. I think Team Opta Gotham has had the most consistent team so composition so far yeah. like they've run venusaur tapu and vaporeon in all of their games um, yes and it's been working really well for them um so i don't yeah see much reason to switch it out all right look all right maybe but i want to see don fan okay they have don fan and i want it to be seen <laughs> Okay, honestly, Vaporeon is extremely hard to beat. If you saw in their match, the uh, Mesprit had Energy Ball and it wasn't doing 50%, which means it could Wish Protect it and stall it out with the Toxic and stuff. And then they had Roar, which it, it was trying to set up, which it did. It, Vaporeon's so hard to beat in any meta. It's crazy, honestly. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy they didn't get Vaporeon and Sylveon because oh then God. I would have just cried because I we fought that before I think in the last uh, uh, tournament that we were running or you yeah. were running uh, someone had both Vaporeon and Sylveon someone nice. don't you mean Transl? it was Transl wasn't it of <laughs> yeah it was Transl it was terrifying it was, uh, was, it was Yu Yu yeah but, and um, oh god now the defensive evolutions are just it it looks like it's it's one of those things where Tapu Koko looks like he's putting in so much work, but it's really off of the back of just having a massive presence behind it that can just eat up any danger. Oh yeah, yeah. And the thing is, uh, we saw in their match, the they had a lot of defensive mods. Like they had Venusaur, they had Crustle, which was more offensive. But um, they had Cofagrigus, they had uh, Vaporeon, and then they weakened everything with all those mons and some of coco's like u-turns and stuff and then once they were ready to win they sent in holucha to clean it up like that that's how you play the holucha coco core and i really like to watch that but with that all out of the way guys um this has been week number six uh the next week we get the buy so we'll, we'll probably talk about that next week but um yeah you guys won't be seeing a game from us of course uh, but we will be going over the power rankings for next week. And uh, do you have anything else to say? End this off. Uh, good luck to everyone. I mean, we're not fighting this week, so it'll be fun to watch each battle. Yeah, I cannot wait. Uh, but without and, uh, the number four spot is pretty much it's anyone's game. So. Yes. Um, yeah, everyone has to play beyond their A games because everyone besides maybe ops to go to them can get knocked out uh so definitely play be on your a games hopefully there won't be any forfeits guys try to uh get your games in um but yeah guys have a good day peace